Welcome to Unique People Stories. Do your children surprise you? Yes. Because they have achieved quite a bit more at an earlier point than I expected. Every parent wants their kid to succeed in life and I raised mine with the constant message that they were deeply loved, highly valued and they could do whatever they set their mind to and worked hard toward. One is an entrepreneur. Married. With a beautiful granddaughter and she is the ultimate homemaker, coordinator. Who pulls together an exquisite household while also running an award-winning business in the top of her field. As a sole proprietor. The second is a teacher. Married. With an adorable granddaughter. And in six years has gone from a beginning teacher to the top teacher rep in his school division and because of his tech savvy has just been asked to create and lead a virtual school, from the ground up, for all the students now doing online learning. He's very respected at his work. Home and church. And the third is the super inquisitive one who graduated high school. Went on to get a Bachelor of Science. Which only fueled more interest so she got her master's. Then decided to get a PhD in microbiology. While studying that she fell in love with another PhD student. Got married and together they both graduated as MDs and are now hard-working doctors. I couldn't be prouder of them. And the funny thing is that their mother and I split up when they were in their mid-teens and now we text each other at each achievement and say what the heck, eh? Can you believe these kids of ours? Our marriage sure sucked but damn. We did all right in the kid department. A really interesting question. Yes and no. First child, just as awesome as expected. But kind of over the top. Second child, odd. But satisfying and very interesting. Third child, wow. Nice outcome. But doesn't cook anything worthwhile. None of them think like me exactly but. All of them are honest. Hard working. Vote responsibly. Care for others and I couldn't be prouder. This is a world-shaking accomplishment because I feel I did right by them thereby offsetting my crappy upbringing. 10 attaboys for me. Smiling now. You need to smile too and remember that all us parents do or did live on another planet. It's their planet now and more power and luck to them. Hope they figure out what to do next cuz I'm not sure we did. For the most part they, daughter is 28, son is 25 surprise me in the best ways. I could have conversations with them for hours, for days. It's been wonderful to witness their evolution into adults. Sure. Sometimes I don't agree with certain things and I know they have wondered plenty of times. WTF is mom doing? But we have so much respect for each other. My daughter is and has always been fiercely independent. Stubborn and opinionated. Not in any kind of obnoxious way. Just solid in her convictions. She's all about defending the underdog. My son is the quieter one. Feels things deeply. He has a whole different way of thinking. There's side A and side B and then there's the side he thinks of which changes the entire outlook. I adore my son. Both my husband and I came from dysfunctional families. But on the outside my husband's looked like leave it to beaver. My husband's father was a high-functioning alcoholic. And my husband was one too. But he was verbally abusive. I was brought up in a foster home until I was 13 when my foster mother died. I was sent back to live with my birth mother who had borderline disorder and regularly attempted suicide, leaving me to care for three of my younger half-siblings. I live with chronic depression and anxiety, but vowed to give my son a better life. From the time he was two we spent hours talking about anything under the sun. I wanted him to know whatever happened he could always come to talk with me. He has OCD. Anxiety disorders have a strong genetic component. He has his bachelor's degree and is the kindest, most nurturing, and most honest person I know. I live in a small town. And people stop me all the time to say how much they enjoy him. When he was in college he helped a classmate through a really tough time in her life and her and her husband named their first child after him. My son is married and lives on the west coast. But he still texts me every day and calls often and we have long chats. He has been such a blessing in my life. I fall into the wanting to raise an independent thinker whose life goal is to be happy and am surprised they are doing that and it doesn't look like what I would have done. Mine is completely uninterested in living a life based on making more money than they need and is into self-sufficiency grow own food. Not buying new. Living in marginal houses. 
can't really tell if just unmotivated or strongly believes in those ideals. Probably both. They did just got a job in their field where they want to live but it's part-time with no benefits. So I guess that's a win really. I'm left of center. Dad's right of center and they went to private school and have a STEM degree. I thought they'd land in one of the categories we're in. I'm 95% fine with it but worry about the lack of benefits. And it shouldn't have surprised me as 35% of women who obtain their degree never work in the field. I'm like your kid. But I took a different path. After holding down a successful career for 20 years and saving up. I quit my job a year and a half ago. Moved out of my apartment. Got rid of most of my stuff and put the rest in storage. And have been traveling ever since. My husband encouraged me and I don't know if I would have had the courage without him. I'm so happy I did it. To me. Time and community and self-sufficiency are so much more important than being a part of the toxic rat race the modern world has created. My oldest 37 disinherited me when I wouldn't loan him $5,000 for truck driving school in 2010. Called me back to say he was a sexual deviant pedophile and needed space. Haven't heard from him. But hey. There's three grandchildren in foster care because he couldn't keep it in his pants. I adopted a now 36 boy. But he came out as a girl three months ago. And gee. Is his wife pissed off. Gender reveals are tricky at this age. Love them regardless. Our children need love. My 29-year-old daughter is just confused. Because her mom is a staunch Republican feminist that voted for Obama. And my ex-husband is a libertarian Trump supporter. She's currently huddled around a HEPA filter. Choking on hazardous wildfire smoke. While house-sitting for me. As the area she calls home burns down. Her mental health is taking a toll during this pandemic as she has no job and no prospects for work. Her father keeps telling her she just needs to pull herself up by her bootstraps. I'm just swimming. 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 At this rate. I will not see my social security retirement age of 67. I know how you feel in some sense. I grew up in a blue state. With parents whose views used to lean to the left. I'm in my 30s now. And I definitely lean to the left too. My parents have since retired and moved to a red state. And now lean towards more conservative. I still lean to the left. And it's hard talking about politics. So I try to steer clear of it. Recently. I had a massive argument via email with my father. In which I had to tell him we cannot discuss politics anymore. Because I love him and mom. And that it's clear we do not see eye to eye. And I didn't want this to ruin our relationship. I have to say I'm a bit disappointed that their views have changed. But I still respect them and their views. Although I do not appreciate when their beliefs are being shoved in my face and being talked over when I'm trying to voice my opinion. Because I do not do that to them. It's very difficult and awkward at times. But I love my parents and do not want politics to ruin my relationship with them. As long as you respect their views. You have done a great job. If you can have conversations involving politics that are respectful of each other's views. That's terrific. I hate hearing about families that don't speak to one another anymore because of their disagreement of politics. Best of luck. Do you have children that surprise you? Or maybe you are a child that surprises their parents?